But there are some things we refuse to let change, like the uncompromising flavor of our senbei and the place we hold in our Yo, hearts. what's good, peeps? With Yakuza Like a Dragon hitting Game Pass recently, it's recent venture onto the PS5 and also Xbox Series S and X, and just more and more people playing this awesome game. I wanted to expand on my previous tips and tricks video regarding the game, which seems to be helping so many newcomers to the series, and dive into the business management mini game, as to me, this is definitely the best way that I personally made the most money in the game. Before I dive into the five tips, though, I just wanted to point out the location of both offices because the first time I did play the game I couldn't exactly remember where the second office location was after I left the building. The first office location is easy enough to find as it is by commercial district in Surukami Bridge inside of Ichiban Confections. Once you do progress in the business mini management game and move to the second office, this is actually located in Chinatown, just off Pier Street or Go Alley. Best taxi to use is North Chinatown location. Might seem common knowledge, but trust me, I did spend around 40 minutes after I resumed back to the normal game, trying to figure out where this new office was located, as I pretty much just left the building, went about my business and actually forgot what the building was called. Anyway, peeps, enough chit chat, let's dive straight in to the five main mini tips that I do have for some of the beginners for this particular mini game. Number one. All right, bring it in. Does this change your Tip mind? number one, we're going to look at knowing what the most profitable properties are. Now, each rank opens up more properties that you can invest in, but as there are so many, it can be hard to know which ones are potentially the best ones to sink your money into. Now, for rank 200 all the way to rank 151, my advice is potentially just sticking with the first investment, which is Ichiban Confections, and pretty much maxing out all of its stats. When you do hit rank 100 to potentially rank 51, you want to invest in Yakuda Bookstore. When you do hit rank 50 all the way to 21 range, you want to try and invest in three specific properties. These are White Flag, Cat Servant, and Karaoke Gon Gon. From rank 20 all the way to rank 11, Shokichi Camera or PDC Trading Company are potentially the two that you do want to focus on within that ranking range. Finally, rank 10 all the way up until rank number one, the Amphus is a pretty good property to definitely profit off and basically place that all important investment into. Number two. Tip number two, keeping your employees happy is definitely a really good way in order to maximize your profits and also a good way to ensure that the shareholders meetings go as smooth as possible. But we definitely will talk about the importance of the shareholders in the next tip. But it is important to know that taking care of your employees is a vital part of this and you can check what their needs are in the menu. There is an auto care option that you can turn on. And to be fair, that's pretty much what I do. I'm a little bit lazy in manually doing it, but if you do want to do it manually this definitely will save you a little bit of money but me personally i just kind of do things automatically number three now when i first encountered the shareholder meeting i personally didn't know what on earth was going on but after i actually understood the mini game and the colors then it kind of became a breeze for me basically each color next to your employee is very very important and going into a shareholders meeting with employees that have a red icon green icon and blue icon will ensure that you are able to cover most of what the shareholders can throw at you basically the colors work like rock paper scissors so red is basically stronger than green green is stronger than blue and blue is stronger than red. Knowing this is important when you are dealing with an unhappy shareholder as it makes it much more easier to deal damage to them. Basically, all you have to do is focus on the color of the message that the shareholder throws up on the screen. 
So basically, if a shareholder throws up a message on the screen with a green background, then you have to use an employee with a red icon to deal damage. If they throw up a message with a blue background, then you use a green icon employee. And if they do use a message with a red background, then simply use a blue icon employee. This will remove the message instantly and allow you to attack the shareholder and win them over easily before the clock actually runs down. Something that could potentially throw you off guard is that in certain instances, the shareholder's specific icon color isn't always the same color as the message that they throw up on the screen. So for those who potentially have a very good reaction, then you could either go a step further and basically change your character after you've dealt with the shareholder message to ensure that you are using the correct employee to inflict the most damage on the shareholder specific icon color, obviously going over what we've just mentioned in terms of priority. So obviously red being stronger than green, green being stronger than blue and blue being stronger than red. Now, as a tip, I literally just hit the pause button to stop the timer just to ensure that I do select the correct employee as soon as the shareholder throws up the message. And sometimes it can catch you off guard and be a little bit confusing at times. To be honest, this is probably the only major tip that you probably do need to know for this entire mini game. As once you do smash the shareholders meeting, that is basically where you actually progress up the ranks in the mini game on your quest to position rank one. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. <laughs> Tip number four, high charisma is the way to go. You can hire many different employees in Yakuza Like a Dragon's business minigame, but it is a little bit of a strategy to it. Charisma is the main stat that you want to look for, and you should be making sure that those you hire are rated of around 500 or higher for charisma. It's also worth looking at their command cost too, and if you can get the perfect blend of high charisma and low command cost, then you definitely are onto an absolute winner in terms of the employee. Holding my hands up, this tip probably wouldn't be relevant to someone like myself who had the Ulmer edition of the game and therefore had access to more powerful employees. But for those who don't actually have the Ulmer edition and just basically going off the base game, this is definitely worth taking note for. Number five. I still have room for growth, I suppose. Leveling up your employees is very, very important, especially as you get closer to the end of the game. The way you do improve your employees is by promoting them, and you wanna try and get them to around level 30 before you are at around rank 20. If you do do this, then you are gonna have a much more easier time when you are in those meetings with some of those hostile shareholders. Anyway, peeps, that's just my five beginner guide tips for this particular mini game. As I personally really, really enjoyed playing it, it did take me around a few hours to get through it but it definitely was worth it towards the end of the game especially when I was trying to level up some of my weapons and buying all of those materials a lot of the things in the game started to cost a little bit more money and I just found that this was definitely the easiest way for me to obtain a lot of money in a short space of time so while at first it might feel a little bit long-winded to get through this particular mini game I personally just feel sticking it out because once you do get the hang of it you will realize how quickly and how easy it is to generate money in this game game anyway peeps do let me know your thoughts on yakuza like a dragon is it a game that you're still enjoying i do know so many people are commenting on the original tips and tricks video that i did do for this game and it does seem to be helping out so many new gamers that are kind of new to the yakuza series or some people that just might have forgotten a few bits or pieces within the game definitely do check that video out because it will potentially give you some insights or things that you may not consider when playing as always if you did enjoy these urban gameplay videos be sure to smash the like button do hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy the content on the channel and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out Job peeps on the bustling streets of yokohama a decade can pass in the blink of an eye time marches on and people come and go but there are some things we refuse to let change like the uncompromising flavor of our senbei 
and the place we hold in our hearts for our valued customers. At Ichiban Confections, your smile is our number one priority. Eat at Ichiban's. We are Ichiban Holdings. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.